Hey everybody. Um, so I did a thing. Uh, I was working on the Keyforge Premier League uh, spreadsheet where I have uh, data of all the decks entered into the R Solo profiles. And uh, I was working on fixing the card data, uh, the card analysis. Uh, it was counting the number of cards, and there was like a whisper at 31, and I was like, no way Whisper was played in 31 uh, copies in the uh, Keyforge Premier League. And so I was trying to figure out why that's happened, and apparently it was counting also the Whisper and Relentless Whispers and Whispering Credit Query. So it, well, that's why it had 31 copies. So I fixed the formula, uh, had to do some trimming and bubble shit to make this work. But uh, yeah, it's now it's now correct. Uh, it doesn't count. Uh, lab work is sloppy lab work and whisper is uh, stuff like that um yeah uh, and while i was doing this i was thinking well this is the most popular uh, those are the most popular cards in the archon solo qualifiers or the default from the Olympic. and what happened if i took this data and tried to find like the total most popular the deck with the most popular cards by instance in my collection. Now, obviously I didn't adjust this for win rates, so some people entered uh, decks that um, didn't perform as well and some of the cards didn't perform as well, but these are still the perspective of what do people want in their deck, uh, which is valuable. Like um, one of my problems with searching for decks, uh, decks in decks of Keyforge is that I, I can't uh, say, well, I want multiple copies of one of those cards. So um, this will kind of allow me to do this based on what people have chosen. Uh, but in the future, I can also put my own values into this table and then use that to analyze my collection um, and give basically a score on how much I like a deck. So that's useful. Anyway, uh, this is my spreadsheet uh, that I use for um, tracking my Keyforge collection. Uh, I'm not going to show you this tab, uh, potential purchases, that's just for me. Uh, but everything else is <laughs> I can share. Um, yeah, so um, this is the collection data. This is uh, basically I went into Ducks of Keyforge. Uh, if you want to do something similar on your own, I went to the decks of Keyforge. I did a search uh, for my decks. And then if I go from here and I just, um, oh, it takes a while to load, uh, just scroll down, click show more, and do that until all four, 378 decks are showing, I can click this button to download uh, all the doc data. And I put that data into uh, this sheet over here and just paste the data. And then I have my um, uh, tracking sheets for all sorts of formats. So this is my R1. Uh, and then I use a lookup. I put the, the, the name of the deck here. And then I use a lookup uh, over here, a uh, array formula lookup, to basically find this deck in the collection data and copy all the data over here and then i can have notes in the end like so my notes and so anytime that uh, text of the uh, key fold data updates i can simply export the data again uh, paste it over here and then my notes don't get uh, scrambled with uh, with the data changes uh, this also always remains attached to this text over here and this text over here is just constant. I put the function of change. Um, yeah, so this is this is the, my uh, analysis uh, spreadsheet and my notes and like text I'm considering for Archon, text I'm considering for Tired, text I'm considering for Adaptive. You can see that I'm not very considering for Adaptive and my non-competitive decks that I like playing for, I don't know, SASCAP or just for fun. Uh, a bunch of notes, of course. Uh, there's also this column, which is 
uh, like high, uh, how competitive it is in a SAS cap event. Like some of them are proven because I've won SAS cap tournaments with them, and others are of interest, and some of them are of the non competitive decks that just have too much uh, SAS for them to be relevant for SAS cap. Anyway, that was a little off topic. Um, I wanted to do collection analysis over here, so I'm adding, adding the these four columns over here, which I will now re I now realize I will need to um, probably put on a different spreadsheet so it doesn't get scrambled when I override this sheet. Uh, but that, this was just for testing. Uh, so uh, first I copied the card data uh, over here. I just copied the values in one of all the formulas. So these are just flat values. And then I did the formula to see the percentile because I didn't want to use the total number, but rather the percentile of the uh, rank of the cards in, in the data set. Take the, the numbers over here. And then I uh, went to the population data and I put in uh, basically per house, like uh, total the sum. Uh, I looked up the value of uh, the cards in the set in the in the cards data and replaced them with the uh, percentile rank and then I did a sum of that. So I have a percentile rank per house and then I have the percentile rank total. And then I sorted by the total. Um, and okay, so um, the top decks here. Uh, not at all my favorite decks, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, so while Natural Philosopher or Buzzy Beast Off is like 11, uh, there are a bunch of cards that are much higher than it, and that's very interesting um, to, to look at. Also, if you look at the, at the SAS numbers, uh, while the first two are pretty high, those two are pretty low, which is very interesting. Uh, Jason is like a very classic uh, Shadows This Logos deck. Uh, so is uh, the Criminal and uh, the Nest Netmaster is a whole supply deck. It's, it has uh, four um, stealth modes. So I don't know, maybe that's just ranked high. Uh, but I wanted to, what I wanted to do now is just test out some of those uh, low SAS decks that showed up here and see if they perform. Like, could they? Could they perform? Could they be better than they see? Uh, 66 SAS and 60 SAS and 59 SAS over here? Like, I know this deck. This deck is not amazing. It's uh, it's my four bad pennies seeker needle shenanigans with the uh, Soul Snapshot deck. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. I, I, I've looked at this deck, uh, Shield Form, and I mean, I have it for, say, $15, uh, which means that even though it's low SAS, I, I looked at this and I said, well, this is not awful. But um, yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't look special. But maybe? Let's give it a go. What do you say? I don't I don't think I've played this like at all. Like maybe one game when I opened it or something. I don't know. Oh, oh let's jump into the game and see how it goes. Okay, uh, game entered. Uh, I mean, I don't really have anything useful to put turn one, but there's a double mind bob and a lash, which is pretty disruptive. There's a lab book, I could put something in my archives, but I don't really have anything useful to put in my archives. Um, I guess I'll just keep and play down my armbar turn one. I mean, it's skirmish, it can kill something, yeah, like a hunting witch if they drop it. I don't know if they have it. They do. <laughs> but they kill my, uh, 
and the hunting which comes the team down. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, well, that's not gonna go good. Well, I have no removal, so flash, mind bulb, mind bulb. Or hopefully, I slow them down enough for me to get something resembling removal. Just gonna read for four. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna play shadows, clear my hand, and bounce those. I mean, they can play them for value, but uh, at least they won't be able to play a different house for value. Oh god, still no gateway. I think we're just coming back down. And I got nothing to do about it. Well, let's see if uh, my logo stone can produce anything. Uh, light glasses first. Oh yeah! Twin bolts. Exactly what the daughter ordered. I'm gonna put me. What am I most likely to play? Next turn, shadows or this? I think maybe this to call the lash. But I'll put the shadows off. Uh, I have access. Pow pow. Woo! It's dead. Uh, Atenticus. Um, yeah, I'm kind of okay with all that. Um, do I play Shadows? No, I think I'm gonna play Logos. I want my artifact online. So I'm gonna kill that Tentacus. Dark Arm. I got a bat though. That's nice. And Archive. Let's say my, uh, doesn't really matter. It's just it doesn't. I'm not going to be keeping them for a special occasion. I'm just playing them later when I play shows. This is honestly going way better than expected. They had a double hunting witch opener, and I am still here. My ass, not my ass. Uh, well, I can still go into Lobos and use the baton. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna kill off that those uh, piranhas and the dodger. Yeah, the dodger. Hmm, Hysteria. Hysteria is cool. They can torture my baton now, but I don't really care about this baton. Okay. Full moon, recurve, hunting witch coming down. Yep. Two fairy for double amber. Okay, definitely gonna go into this. I think I'm gonna need to gateway and not hysteria because of the hunting which being able to be replayed. Is that right? Yeah, all the right. Uh, let's go hysteria, play down succubus, and lash so they have to play 9 for the key. Uh, I have first shadow stone coming up, it's not terribly exciting. But it's coming up. I'll be able to protect uh, my creatures, my sticky creatures, with my uh, shadow self. Uh, although the succubus is probably more, more useful. Oh, thank you. They cleared out my uh, list. Okay, uh, time to take my archives. Uh, shadow self protecting the succubus. 
I want the succubus protecting the umbra. I want the two moon pluses over here. Urchin doesn't matter because it's gonna die. And capture one on the shadow side. I got a tubo and a gateway, so I can actually use the tubo if I want. What happened? Just imp suicided into a moon person. Fair enough. Snatch so comes down. Arise on untamed. So there's another um, hunting burst still going up. Well, better utilize uh, our board. Uh, that flame rift sure it's going to be hard to kill. Okay, so I still can steal everything because of the ghostly hand. So I'm going to kill the snatch. Close the hand. Three, four, two. Little damage on that. Show it. Now hunting witches are coming down. And I will have to play this. Interesting. There are monkeys. Just think I can handle. Hunting which is coming down. Too fairly. Ancient bill, yeah. Nice. Well played. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with this. I need to kill this bolt. And I can do the dual thing. Sweet! That's pretty sweet. And I have a decent discord. Speeches. Not a steam. Silent dagger. Oof, they went up to ten. Yeah, I think I lose. No, no, I can stop them. I can stop them. Okay, so I steal one. I reap. Bounce it. Play it again. Cap, steal again. Lash. Will that be enough to win the game? Probably not. But if they don't do something significant, I just hit it. Okay, so I need to fight into it with my beat yeah, demon. slash. I need to fight into it with my beat demon. Fight into it with my snudge. Bounce the beat demon. Play the beat demon and steal one. Right? Right. Okay. Fight. Fight. Bounce pit demon. Play pit demon. Steal one. Still in the game. Key charge, I don't think they can win with untamed. Chota, yeah, GG. I was in that game for a long time though, and like, this is a 66 ass deck. Yep. What were they playing? They were playing 
a 73 sad stick with 29 expected damage. And I held my ground. And this is like the first game I've ever played with this. Um, well, this experiment has been interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, do I think this deck is up and competitive? Probably not. But it's definitely something better than it looks. Better than it looks. Well, thanks for joining me in this uh, experiment. Um, I, I had a good time. Thank you.